Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another 30-minute gentle yoga stretch class with Susan. All right. Is everybody comfortable on their mat, on their sit bones? If you have a hard time sitting cross-legged, then you can always sit with your legs straight if that feels better for you. All right. So let us begin. We always start our class with a couple of minutes of pranayama. Prana is breath and pranayama is breath control. So today we're going to sit in Gaya Mudra. Index finger represents knowledge and ability. Thumb represents your ego. Together they impart calm and receptivity. Resting palm up. Back is straight, shoulders relaxed. Close your eyes if you'd like. Let's take a nice long, smooth breath together. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Just relax. Continue on your own personal pranayama for the next two minutes. Slow everything down. Just breathe. Nice, long, full, smooth breath. Inhale completely. Suspend your breath always just for a few seconds and then exhale completely. Now is the time to drop your day and settle your mind and to set an intention for your practice today. Focus on any situation in your life that needs guidance from your higher self. It's time to lower the heart rate, lower your blood pressure, and lower your anxiety level. Try to find stillness in mind and body. One more nice, long, smooth breath. I'd like you to bring your hands together. Let's rub them vigorously to activate our hand chakra. Hands onto your heart center, close your eyes. Let's take a nice, long, smooth breath together to tune out, inhale. For one more breath. And on your next exhale, I'd like you to drop three fingers, keep the index fingers together. Take a nice, long, smooth breath. And on the exhale, come up all the way. Do what you can. Sitting nice and tall on those sit bones, let's wake up that physical body, let's wake up that spine. Relax the shoulders, reach up if you can. Breathing into Jupiter Mudra, which is good luck and expansion are activated when together focus your energies on breaking through barriers. We try to focus on slowing things down and connecting with the breath. Slow it all down. Nice, long, smooth breath for one more. On the exhale, hands together slowly, bring them down very gentle. Bring them down on your lap, roll the shoulders up. So I just want you to remember but every breath you take the whole time we're together is long and smooth. All right, so try to keep that breath consistent if you can. And just remember, do what you can, respect your limitations, listen to your body. If it doesn't feel good, you don't have to do it. Or you can always back up. You can always make those little adjustments as you go along. So today we're going to start with a nice gentle neck stretch. So sitting nice and tall, shoulders are relaxed. Take your breath. And on the exhale, I want you to bow your head. Big breath. Exhale, roll your head over the left shoulder. Very gently, take it easy. And on the exhale, roll your head to the back. Very gentle with your neck. If this is gonna bother your neck, you can bring your head up to normal position. Exhale, roll your head over to the right. Exhale to the front. Big breath. We're going to do the reverse now. Exhale over to the right. Exhale to the back. Releasing the tension into the neck, lengthening. Exhale to the left. And then come to the front. And slowly bring your head up, very slow and gentle. All right. Now let's do a nice shoulder shrug. Take a breath. On the exhale, we're going to bring the shoulders up and hug your ears with your shoulders as tight as you can. And this is a nice, easy, quick way to release tension into the shoulders and the upper back. One more breath. 
On the exhale, bring the, let them go, bring them down. And you can feel that release of attention right away. Now from here, I want you to roll the shoulders up. If you can, get a little bit more movement. Just really let's loosen things up. And if you find that you can't move very much, if you're a little stiff or a little tight, or you're not very flexible, just do smaller circles. Just move less. You don't have to do it exactly the way I do, but I really want you to be aware of your alignment, how you feel, the way your body is set up. So just always, like I said, respect your body and your limitations, all right? From here, <clears throat> inhale out, exhale, palms up. If you can, inhale into a bit of a back bend. If that's a little challenge for you, just reach up to the ceiling. Same difference. One more breath. On the next exhale, come down very slowly, gentle with those shoulders, all the way down, hands right in front. So from here, we're gonna start working on lengthening the spine and really stretching everything out. So if you can, we're gonna crawl the fingers. If you can't go very far, even if you just keep your hands right here, bend the elbows and lean forward. That's fine, all right? Whatever feels good for you. Now I want you to make sure that your back is straight, your head level with the spine, and you're gonna be hinging with the hips with this one. Big breath. On the exhale, either just lean forward and bend the elbows. Keep your hands here if you want, or if you can, you can crawl your fingers and go as far as you like. Find that place that feels just right. You just relax, breathe. Come back to the breath. Focus on the sensations of that breath. The breath is there to guide you, so slow it down. And on the next exhale, I want you to stay low and shift your body weight. Slide your hands to the left. <clears throat> now the weight is on the left thigh, right hip stays on the floor. Here you can reach with both arms. If you prefer to focus more on the right arm to really get that deep stretch, this is the shoulder, upper back, and all the way down right into the hip. If you want to bow your head a little bit, that's okay. Not too far that you actually curl your upper spine, but a little bit's okay if you need to. One more breath. On the next exhale, stay low, very slow and gentle with your spine. Come to the right. Weights on the right thigh, left hip stays on the floor. Here again, you can reach with both arms, but if you want to focus more on the left, wherever you feel that stretch that you need right now, even if you just barely move, like I said, it doesn't matter. Where, you're, where you are is where you need to be. Now, if you decide you get into a position or into your stretch and you want to go a little deeper, do it on the exhale. Make that decision or that determination when you get there. And if you need to pull back or if you need to come right out of it, absolutely. But keep the breath going. And let's wake up the left side of our bodies. Now while we're here, let's release the tension that we hold in our face. So I'd like you just to engage all the muscles in your face. Just really squeeze your face, scrunch it up nice and tight and hold it. And then let it go. Let all that tension filter through your body and sink into the ground and just sink into the floor. On the next exhale, come back to center, come all the way up and all the way. Hands on the lap, roll the shoulders a little more. Just loosen things up, all right? Now from here, left hand on the floor beside the left knee. Now, if you have a block or a, a thick book or anything that you can bring the floor up a little higher, what we're going to do here is we're gonna end up resting on the elbow. So if you can't get to the floor without the right hip coming off the floor, then this is where our little block comes in. You can set the block up anywhere you'd like, all right? And if this is really not gonna work for you, reach your hand out here and you can do the same stretch with your arm out here. If you don't even wanna put your elbow on the floor. I'll start this side with the block. Right hand on the right knee, left hand on the floor, on the block, or preparing to have it out here. Take your breath. On the exhale, as you lean on the elbow, keep the right hand on the right knee, and I want you to push away on the right knee, bring the left right shoulder a little closer to the left knee. And if your arm is out, same thing, you can bend the elbow a little. And this is a nice stretch for the upper back, the shoulder, all the way down. Now you can keep the right arm straight if you want to soften at the elbow, that's fine. <clears throat> One more breath. On the next inhale, release the right arm, bring it up. And on the exhale, <clears throat> excuse me, if you can, 
bring it over. If you can't, leave it up. If this really bothers your shoulders, keep your hand on your hip. Now everything is nice and straight and lined up, elbow and shoulder of the left arm are lined up, and that is called alignment. Everything's nice and straight as best as you can. One more breath. On the exhale, come up nice and slow. Counter pose, let's go right to the other side. If you're using your little helper block, take it with you. Right hand on the floor, on the block, or preparing to bring your arm out here. Take your breath. On the exhale, leaning on. If you're doing that on the right elbow, left hand stays on the left knee, and you're gonna push away very slow and gentle. Never force your body into anything. Ease into it, follow the breath. Moving slowly. Just let your body have time to unwind, to decompress, to uncoil. On the next inhale, I want you to release the left arm. So on the inhale, left arm up. Exhale over. Try to straighten your body out as best as you can. Spread those fingers like rays of sunshine for one more breath. On the exhale, come up. Push yourself up slow and gentle. Perfect. And roll the shoulders out if you need to. All right. So let's get into our little butterfly from here. So this particular position here is a nice stretch for the inner thighs, for the buttocks, the starting waking up those little hips of ours, and uh, the uh, groin, pelvic floor area as well. Now this one here, hands onto the ankles. Show you both ways. Whatever feels good for you. Hands on the ankles. Leaning forward gently, pressing down very gently on the knees. Now, if that's going to be a little too much for you, just keep your hands on your legs. Keep your back straight. Just hang out here. Try to relax your, your hips and your thighs, all right? So I'm going to do the one that's leaning forward. If you're going to lean forward, keep your back straight, head level with your spine. Try to relax those hips if you can. Big breath. On the exhale, lean forward. Now don't force those knees, very gentle. You don't have to push down to, or you can feel this. You don't have to go far. If you're a little more flexible, you can go down a little further. Try to keep your head level with your spine. Keep that breath going. Now in this position, you're gonna feel a lot of tension into the inner thighs. Try to relax, let it go. On the exhale, come up all the way, perfect. All right, so let's uh, straighten those legs now. Now, I want you to just straighten the left leg, right foot into the cusp of the left knee. Now, make sure you're comfortable on your sit bones, you're nice and sitting nice and tall. Now, the foot's in the cusp of the knee, you don't have to bring it up any higher. If you wanna slide it down around the calf area, that's fine as well. If you need to support your knee, you can do that too for comfort, all right? So this is a single leg stretch. Let's focus on the back of the leg. The hamstring behind the knee and having your toes up to the ceiling is a calf stretch. So let's really work on this left leg. Now from here, both hands can be on your thigh or on your knee. So what we're gonna do here is you're just gonna lean forward. All right, now, again, back is straight, head is level with your spine, trying to hinge with the hips. So try not to be hunched over and bowing your head. Try to keep things nice and straight. You don't have to go far with this one here. You're going to feel it anyway. Even sitting like this and leaning a little bit, you should feel it. Now, those of you who are a little stronger, a little more flexible, if you want, you can slide your hands down and then you can grab your foot if you'd like, all right? So from here with a straight spine, let's try it together. Take your breath. And on the exhale, lean forward. And just relax. Now, Pay attention to how your knee and your thigh feel, your quads. Let them go. If your knee is tight, it's probably locked up. Try to relax it. Being aware of the tension in our body, trying to identify it and let it go. Even as you're in the position or the stretch, there's always something that's going to be tight. Let it go. Breathe. Keep that breath going. Every breath you take is long and smooth. And I try to cue you on the movements when I say your next exhale or the next exhale. You can't follow my breath because I have to talk and that, so just slow it down. One more breath. On the exhale, come up slowly. All right. So from here, we're going to get right into our twist pose. So just stay in this position here, all right? So I want you to put the left hand on the right knee, right hand behind the back. Big breath. And on the exhale, gently look over the right shoulder, gently pressing on the right knee to the left. Your back is straight, shoulders are relaxed. 
Now, gentle spinal twist, even if you're tight, if you're, be very careful with your spine. If you have issues with your spine or your back, don't torp your back or your neck. Even if you move a little bit, do what you can, all right? If you find you get into the position and you want to go a little deeper and you can, do it on the exhale, just push on the knee, you'll get a little bit more movement. Now the spinal twist is a very gentle movement, but we want to keep the spine nice and flexible and balanced and safe, but also releasing the nerves, the blood vessels, and the muscles up and down your spine. On the next exhale, come back to center slowly. All right, let's bring up the knee. Let's go to the other side now. Perfect. Now make sure you're comfortable on your sit bones. Again, left foot into the cusp of the right knee, but slide it down around the calf if that feels better. And if you need to, you can support your knee if that's more comfortable for you, all right? Now, let's try this side here. Make sure the toes are pointing up. Straight spine, take your breath. And on the exhale, just lean forward. You don't have to move your hands. If you want, you can, you can slide down, depending on how flexible and how loose you feel today, all right? Again, relax the knee and the thigh, breathe. Close your eyes, if that helps you relax and focus on your breath, close your eyes. Just bring yourself right into the moment. Be here right now where nothing else matters but how you feel in this moment, where you are, what you're doing, and your breath. Feel the sensations of that beautiful, long, smooth breath. On the exhale, come up. All right, let's go right into our twist pose on this side here. So right hand on left knee, left hand behind the back. Take a breath to center always. And on the exhale, look over the left shoulder. Again, to pay attention to how your body feels, because you know you always have one side of your body that's a little bit um, easier to work with. It's stronger, it's more balanced, and more flexible. Maybe this side you can go a little further. Maybe it's a little tighter. You can't go very far. That's okay. Everything revolves, like I've said many times, around the breath. You know, if you decide to come right out of it, skip it all together, no problem. Keep the breath going, relax the shoulders. On the exhale, come back to center. All right, and let's uh, straighten those legs, all right? Now, this is our staff pose. Now, this is a neutral place. Now, sitting nice and tall on your sit bones, let's be aware of our, of our posture. Relax the shoulders, legs together, let's point those toes. Both hands out. Bring the arms down a little lower. We're going to focus on the forearm, not so much the shoulder. We're going to do the shoulders later. Open up the fingers, bring them down. Bend at the wrist, slightly turn out to the baby finger. Just relax, breathe. Really pay attention to what you're doing. Focus on what's going on right now. Pay attention to how you feel. On the exhale, straighten hands, bring them up. Now take the right hand. I want you to bring the left fingers back very gently. So this is all working the forearm, the flexor muscles on the bottom, the wrist, the hand, fingers. On the next exhale, release. Let's go to the other side. Bring them back very gently. And on the exhale, release. Hands on the lap, roll the shoulders out and relax. Relax the feet. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna, I want you to open up your legs a little bit. So we're gonna do some circles with the wrists and with the ankles at the same time, all right? And while you're doing that, I want you to wiggle your toes. So play piano with your toes, play piano with your fingers, and we're gonna do all that together, all right? So let's loosen everything up. So let's start. You can have your arms out here. If you wanna bring it, bend your elbows a little bit, it doesn't matter. So let's focus on the ankles and the wrists. So just follow the breath and just roll them around slowly, wiggle your fingers and toes best as you can. A little bit of coordination here. And then do the other direction. And if you have a hard time moving your toes, you can stop and wiggle your toes a little bit if you like. Sometimes a little, hard, little coordination, sometimes a little challenging. All right, perfect. All right, and roll the shoulders out. Now before we get into our table, I'd like to work on our seated fish pose. So this one here, we're gonna work on the chest and the front of the deltoid, front of the shoulder. So from here, I'm gonna sit this way to show you. Now sitting nice and tall again on your sit bones and with your hands along the side of your hips. All right, preparing for our seated fish pose. Take your breath. On the exhale, bring the shoulders up, bring the back, slide them down, shoulder blades gently together and focus on releasing, opening up the chest, breathe. 
And this is the seated fish pose. This is like I said, to release, open up the pectorals, the tight chest, opening up the rib cage, lots of room to breathe and opening up your heart center. This is really gonna help you with your posture by releasing the tightness in the chest. On the exhale, bring the shoulders up forward and down. Let's counter pose, hands on the lap, and let's do a little move called the caterpillar. Take your breath. On the exhale, just keep your hands on your lap and just lean forward, bow your head and round your back. So this is a counter pose from the fish, so just re release your chest and rest your chest and call the caterpillar. On the exhale, come up slowly. All right, roll the shoulders out. From here, let's get into our table. So when you get into your table now, if you have issues with your knees or your wrists, I always provide little pads that I've made up for my students in our classes and it makes all the differences. Just a little mat that I cut up, a little Pilates mat. Um, if anything, a little towel, a thin blanket or a little thin pillow if you need it underneath your knees or your wrist. And with your wrist, if you want, you can go on your fists, changes the angle of the wrist and you can also double up your mat. Let's do some cat and cow. Now, checking your alignment. Ankle to knee, knee to hip, knees are hip distance apart, elbow, shoulders, wrists lined up. Head is level with your spine. Let's do it together. Inhale up. Exhale, arch the back, chin to chest, belly button, spine. Again, up. Cat and cow. This is lengthening, releasing the spine, releasing upper back and lower back. Breath in motion, meditation in motion, cat and cow. One more breath. On the exhale, bring yourself to straight, neutral spine. Preparing for downward dog, take your breath. On the exhale, everybody up. Move your feet back if you have to. Tail is up high, back is straight, head is level with your spine. Relax the shoulders, let your head hang down. Right in that place of balance, of comfort. From here, let's walk ourselves up to mountain. Come up very slowly. Reverse the blood flow so you don't get dizzy. Come all the way up. Roll the shoulders out, shake it out. Shake the legs out, shake the hands out if you need to, roll it out. This is our mountain tap to Zana. Feet are hip distance apart, standing nice and tall. Feet are nice and anchored into the floor. Let's take a few breaths into our mountain and this is our neutral place as well. Breathe. Maybe standing up like this, you get that breath a little bit easier. Some people find it's easier to connect with the breath when they're sitting, maybe when they're laying down which is really focus on the breath. Take that full breath. Feel your chest rise as you inhale. Always suspend it for a few seconds and then exhale completely, every breath. Let's inhale up, exhale. Inhale into a bit of a back bend if you can. On the next exhale, swan dive, hinging at the hips, soften the knees, come down for rag doll and hang out here. Just bend the knees and just hang out. This is a wonderful full body stretch. If you find this makes you dizzy, come up halfway, put your hands on your knees. Be very careful with how you feel. Whenever we had our head, I had our head below our hips, they're called inversions. So if this is gonna make you dizzy for any reason, come up a little bit if you need to. Don't be shy, all right? One more breath. On the exhale, come back up very slowly, reverse the blood flow. So you don't get dizzy, roll the shoulders out. Let's just do one stretch before we get back down on the floor. So from here, I just want you to take a nice wide V. Just take a nice wide V, all right? Let's inhale, right arm up. Exhale over, V, lateral stretch. So line everything up, try to straighten your body as best you can, just go as far. If this bothers your shoulders, put your hand on your hip and you can do the same. Just lengthening the side of your body for one more breath. On the exhale, come up. Use your core muscles to help you move your body. Bring the right arm down. Inhale, left one up. And exhale, over. One more breath. Exhale, up. Five star. One more breath. Exhale, arms down. 
and bring yourself back to mountain. Roll the shoulders out. Let's get ourselves back down onto the floor. Let's get ourselves right onto our backs. Come down nice and slow and gentle, all the way. Back is nice and grounded, shoulders are relaxed. Keep your knees bent, preparing to give yourself a big hug. On the exhale, bring the knees up and a nice hug. And I want you to rock from side to side. Just rock and breathe. Try to relax your shoulders. And this is a nice little stretch for your spine, but also releasing the spine, giving yourselves a lovely massage. Close your eyes if you'd like. Now let's do some little circles to the left. Let's work on that lower back. And little circles to the right. Knees to center, soles of the feet onto the floor, preparing for twist pose. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, let them fall, shoulder height. Take your breath and on the exhale, drop your knees to the left as you look over the right shoulder. Now here you can straighten your legs a little for comfort. Just let them fall. They don't necessarily have to touch the floor. If you find the twist pose, if your block is handy and you want to put a little support under your knee, you can do that if that's more comfortable for you. One more breath. On the next exhale, very slow, very gently bring your knees up. Let's go to the other side. Take your breath. On the exhale, drop the knees to the right as you look over the left shoulder. Make the little adjustments with your legs if you need to. Just let them fall. They don't have to touch the floor. Try to relax. This is really nice little twist pose, releasing the lower spine. One more breath. On the exhale, slowly come up. Be very gentle when you move your body. Take your breath, and on the exhale, I want you to start to straighten those legs. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, let them fall over your head. And I want you to stretch your body out, fingertips to the tips of your toes. You can reposition your arms if this bothers your shoulders. Put your arms anywhere else you'd like. And just let your body sink into the ground feeling heavy, relaxed, calm. Finding that place of tranquility, of serenity, if you want to put it that way. And thank yourself for being here right now, for taking this time out of your busy day and your busy week. It's only 30 minutes to just kind of slow things down and just really connect with that breath. It's always there for you. So when you find that you, you know, if you're really tense or you have anxiety or even if you're super happy, but you just want to find that place just to kind of bring you back down, connect with the breath, slow it down, just breathe. Nobody knows you have, that you're doing it and that really will help you deal with whatever's going on. All right. Slowly bring the hands to the side of the body, palms facing the ceiling, hands are open to receive guidance from your higher self. And let's prepare for our closing savasana, meditation, relaxation, reflection time. However you choose to bring this into your practice today, resting comfortably on your, in your corpse pose. You can bend your knees if you'd like, you can lay on your side if you'd like. Just relax, keep that breath going. You feel so calm right now. It's a wonderful feeling. This is our short little class or our sabhasana is very short with this 30 minute class. Um, a lot of different yoga classes you might attend. Um, you might have a longer sabhasana, which is just wonderful. A little bit more time to kind of, you know, relax, but uh, we have to cut it a little short, so. Let your mind, your body, and your soul absorb the vibrations of the bells, bringing your own energies to its appropriate frequency. Slowly bring yourself back into your space, back into the room. Wiggle your fingers and toes to bring life back to your body. And when you're ready, very slowly and gently bring yourself back up Draw cross-legged Sukhasana position or any seated position at this point that feels comfortable for you. Take your time, come up nice and slow. 
comfortable on your sit bones. Back is nice and straight, shoulders are relaxed. Let's bring our hands together and let's rub them vigorously to activate our hand chakra. Hands on your heart center, close your eyes. Let's take a nice, long, smooth breath together to tune in, inhale. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti Sadhana Shanti, Shanti, peace, peace, my love and light be with you always. Namaste. All right. All done. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. That feels good. Without even doing postures or moving around too much, just the stretching sometimes is all we really need. So thank you very much for joining me today. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing another class right after this one here with just a little bit more moving. All right. So have a wonderful day and uh, stay safe.